Forgotten Paperwork, written by Ink in My Heart and on the Page, and read for you by Eleanor Elizabeth. Summary. Suspend me, Peter yelped, clutching the side of his chair with his hands. What? Why? That's not fair. I'm not lying. Or, Tony forgot to send in paperwork to Peter's school about his internship, and Peter faces suspension. Luckily, Pepper Potts is there to rescue him. Peter remembers the conversation vividly. It's not hard to remember because Peter had been feeling so warm, content and happy when the conversation had taken place. He remembers sitting on the kitchen island on one of the stalls, a smile on his face so big that it hurt his cheeks as he watched Pepper and Tony banter back and forth while they prepared dinner. Tony was wearing an Iron Man apron. Where did you get that? It was a gift from Rudy. While Pepper was dressed in the most comfortable looking clothes that Peter had ever seen her in, the whole scene was very domestic. Oh, before I forget, I put the papers you need to sign off for Peter's internship on the table, Tony, Pepper said as she poured each of them a drink. You need to sign them and send them in. Don't forget. Why do you say it like that? Tony frowned, hands on his hips. Everyone knows how much you don't like paperwork. Pepper rolled her eyes. All the next villain would have to do is send you paperwork and you would do everything to avoid it. Peter had cackled loudly at that and Tony had glared at him, pointing a dripping spoon at him. Enough out of you and Deruz, or I'll personally deliver the paperwork to your school. Peter's mouth dropped open at the thought, eyes widening at the thought of Tony rocking up in his suit. No! Tony grinned wolfishly. That's what I thought. And what's the paperwork for anyway? Peter's school needs proof of his internship, and since May and I decided that if Peter is using it as a cover for being Spider-Man, then he should actually have an internship. Pepper said, sliding a now full glass of soda at Peter with a smile. Starting Monday, you are officially an SI intern, doing one day a week with the other interns and two days a week as Tony's personal intern. Seriously? Peter gasped out, nearly falling off his chair in his excitement. Seriously. Pepper smirked and laughed when Peter tackled her into a hug, squeezing her tightly before bounding away to hug Tony equally as tight. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Stark, Peter gushed. Tony patted Peter's back gently. Don't thank me, kid. This is the first time hearing about it, but I'm happy you're excited, kiddo. Pepper always has good ideas. Ned's gonna flip, Peter beamed, pulling back from Tony. Mr. Stark, I can't wait. Tony grinned, chuckling slightly at Peter's excitement. Me too, kid. As Pepper had promised, the very next week, Peter was presented with his very own intern badge and a starter package and had received a tour by Pepper herself. When they had reached the labs, Tony had been waiting and introduced him to all the other interns who, to Peter's nerves, were all in college. They had all been a little surprised at how young Peter was, but accepted him into their little circle easily enough. Like the rest of the interns, Peter had been instructed to design his very own project that was in line with SI's values and beliefs and would help benefit the world. One day a week, Peter got to work on his project while Tony circled around the other interns, checking their progress and offering tips and notes as he went. Peter had decided to see if he could create a drone the same size as Droney to help those who had been injured. Peter had gotten the idea when Rody had come to visit. He had overheard him speaking to Tony about how he sometimes struggled to reach high things now that he had his braces. The other two days, Peter got to work on anything he wanted with Tony, usually working on their suits or toying with Peter's web solution. Spending time with Tony was the greatest, and Peter found himself trying even harder in school, not wanting to disappoint him or his aunt and Pepper, who would help him get such an incredible opportunity. Peter refused to let such an amazing opportunity go to waste. He had found balance with school, decathlon and Spider-Man, and still had time to hang out with Ned and MJ. So when Peter was called into the principal's office nearly three months later, his anxiety peaked, and he racked his brains for what he could have done. At first, he thought something had happened to May, and his heart plummeted into his stomach. Principal Marita must have seen the panic on his face, because he was quick to assure Peter that his aunt was fine. Peter, you're a good student, one of the most talented that has come through these halls. I have no doubt that whatever you decide to do once you leave these halls, you will achieve, Marita praised. Thank you, sir. Peter gave a small smile. While the praise was a nice surprise, Peter could sense there was a but to follow Marita's statement. You're a good student and a good kid, but... You have been missing quite a few classes, and you've also had more absences this year than any other student. Marita's voice had grown stern. You've also quit most of your extracurricular activities. While your grades are excellent, this is not enough. I had to, for my internship with Stark Industries, Peter said quickly. We were told that we could do an internship as part of our studies, and it would go towards our overall grade. It's also why I've been missing some classes. Technically, he had been skipping classes for Spider-Man, but Peter wasn't about to say that. That is correct, Marita said. 
As part of the internship, you had to provide documents from your place of work with a start date and a written report of your work and signed comments from your supervisor, all of which you have failed to produce. Peter blinked. What? No, Mr Stark sent in the paperwork. I was there when Miss Potts told him to. Marita sighed. Peter, I know this year has been rough for you with the loss of your uncle, and I know you were starting to slip at one point, but you managed to get your grades back up, so I was willing to let it slide. But I'm extremely disappointed that you've started the rumour that you're interning at Stark Industries. What? I'm not lying. I do have an internship with Mr Stark, Peter defended. Peter, I expected better from you. I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to suspend you for three days, Marita said. Suspend me? Peter yelped, clutching the side of his chair with his hands. What? Why? That's not fair. I'm not lying. Your aunt has been called. Marita ignored Peter's outburst, and she's on her way to discuss this further. She should be here any minute. I want to help you, Peter. You're incredibly bright and have such a good future before you. I don't want something like this to affect it. Not lying, Peter huffed slouching down in his chair as he crossed his arms. We will discuss this more when your aunt arrives, Marita said calmly. Peter pouted silently as they waited, fighting off the tears that threatened to fall. It wasn't fair. He'd worked so hard, and yet nobody but Ned and MJ believed him when he said he had an internship. He thought the teachers would be thrilled with the opportunity he'd gotten. They were always telling them to reach for their goals and not let anything stop them from trying, and yet none of them believed Peter. Hurt settled in his chest and he sniffed quietly, trying to wipe his eyes as subtly as he could. He didn't have to wait long before there was a knock on the door and before Principal Marita could say anything, the door was pushed open. Peter stared wide-eyed as Tony Stark himself strode into the room, dressed in his usual business attire and signature tinted sunglasses on his face. Peter's jaw dropped and he was quickly followed in by Pepper Potts, dressed in her business attire and her hair pulled back from her face, which was pulling into a frown. Mr. Stark, Miss Potts, Marita Cumsley got to his feet. I, um, wasn't expecting you. May Parker called, Pepper said, giving Peter a quick smile as she took the empty seat behind him before turning to face the principal, her face cold. Said there was some sort of issue with Peter's internship and you were looking to suspend him. We thought we'd come down and clear it up personally. Tony came to stand behind Peter, placing both hands on Peter's shoulders and giving them a squeeze. Now, why are you suspending my favourite intern? Peter's cheeks flushed at Tony's words. Favourite intern? Marita repeated somewhat weakly. I know, I shouldn't have favourites. Sets a bad example for the other interns, but you've met Peter. Tony shrugged. I don't need to tell you how incredibly bright and talented Peter is and how one day he will be better than all of us. Mr Stark, Peter whined, embarrassed but feeling relieved now that Tony and Pepper were here. They would fix everything. Why exactly are you suspending Peter? Pepper asked coldly. I'm sure there's been a simple misunderstanding. Well, Marie just swallowed thickly. Mr Parker has not filled out the requirements for the work. Peppa picked up a folder from her lap and handed it across the desk to Marita. Inside you will find the dates that Peter started and all the dates since that he has worked on his internship. Comments on Peter's performance have been signed off by me and Mr Stark. However, the details on the projects he's working on are classified. Of course, you will find that Peter has been one of our most promising interns that we've ever taken on, also the youngest, Pepper continued, turning to smile at Peter. She reached over and squeezed his arm, looking back towards Marita. Not only has Peter been able to keep up with college interns, he's also my personal intern two days a week. Tony finished for her, squeezing Peter's shoulder. I told you I wasn't lying, Peter muttered sullenly as Marita gaped like a fish. Lying? Pepper narrowed her eyes. Has Peter ever given you a reason to believe that he would be lying? Well, no. Peter is one of the most intelligent students we've had, Marita said quickly. And while he's capable, no paperwork was ever handed in, so we had no choice. Tony? Peter interrupted Marita with a growl. Tell me you signed the forms I gave you months ago and sent them in. Peter heard Tony swallow. Well, you see... Tony... Peppa sighed heavily. One form, that's all you had to sign, and we could have avoided this whole situation. Yeah, that one was on me, kid. Tony winced. Sorry, kiddo, but hey, at least I didn't come down to your school with my suit like I threatened. Honestly, that would have been better than this, Mr Stark. Peter said deadpanned. May is going to kill you, Tony, Peppa huffed. Peter, sweetheart, I am so sorry. I owe you an apology as well, Peter, Marita said. 
I am truly sorry, Peter, that the faculty did not believe you when you said you had an internship. Miss Potts is correct. You have never given us a reason to doubt your words, and you are very worthy of having such a fantastic internship. I hope you can accept my most sincere apologies. I'm not going to be suspended, Peter asked hopefully. No, of course not, Marita said quickly, and Peter sighed with relief. I will send in the form that needs to be handed in as soon as I get back to the office, Pepper said. If that's all... Uh, yes, thank you for coming down and clearing all of this up. Marita stood up, as Pepper did. You have any questions about the validity of Peter's internship again? You call me, Tony said. I'm Peter's second emergency contact, so you have my number. What? You? My emergency contact? Since when? Peter spluttered. Since we spend nearly four days a week together, kiddo, Tony winked. Come on, we'll walk you to your next class. As they left the office and passed a flushed looking secretary who stared at them as they passed, and Peter found his arm linked with Pepper's and Tony's arm draped over his shoulders as they stepped out into the school halls. Thanks for coming, Peter said, smiling shyly at Pepper. Our pleasure, Pepper smiled. I'll make sure Tony gets a suitable punishment. Tony winced. I really am sorry, Peter. I never meant for this to happen. It's okay. It's all fixed now, and that's the main thing, Peter shrugged. He grinned as he felt Pepper press a quick kiss to his temple. Wait, are you really going to walk me to my next class? Peter asked, looking between the two as they propelled him down the hallway. Yep. Tony grinned. Now, point out who else didn't believe you about the internship. Mr Stark, Peter whined, but he couldn't help but grin as Pepper squeezed his arm and Tony dragged him closer.